Welcome to Business Analysis Techniques. This is Unit 4. So in Unit 4, we are actually going to read about Chapter 4 of the text. Chapter 4 is over simple linear regression. So in this chapter, we're actually going to use the regression analysis that we practiced on in Week 1. Remember, we had a simple regression analysis problem where we just plugged in two columns of data into Excel's regression analysis tool and uh, got some information. Now we're going to actually read about what that information is that regression analysis provides us and how we can use it. So make sure you do the complete reading uh, of the chapter of chapter 4 and view the PowerPoints. Um, the PowerPoints are long but you can also search for keywords once you've done the reading if you just want to look at the PowerPoint on a particular topic. Remember that you can search in the PowerPoint slides for particular topics or keywords so you can go straight there. Um, <clears throat> you also have, uh, as usual, you'll have discussion this week uh, so make sure that when you are um, answering the discussion question that you give your own answer to the discussion question and then also provide responses to your classmates. So this week you're going to be talking about regression analysis and identifying some dependent variables um, versus independent variables. So give your own answer and also respond to your classmates. Make sure that in your discussion post you're using proper college level spelling, punctuation, capitalization. Any type of errors like that will cause you to lose some points on your discussion. So make sure you're using complete sentences and proper sentence structure in the discussion. Now I want to spend the rest of our time looking at the assignments. You know I do like to help you get started and kind of give you an idea of where to focus mm -hmm. in order to answer your homework problems. So I'm looking now at the homework assignment and at, you will be working on this after you've done the reading so of course once you've done the reading all of this will make a lot more sense but I just want to point you in the right direction. So here's the homework assignment. So you are going to do your regression analysis in Excel you have um, a data sheet uh, attached to your assignment that has the actual data in Excel and you're going to use Excel's regression analysis tool to complete the problems. Uh, but your actual answers to the questions I want you to put in this Word document and resave it as your own file name with your answers. So I want to see your direct answers to the questions on this sheet and submit your Excel spreadsheet where you did the regression analysis. Okay, so on um, problem one, the first thing that it asks for in part A is to find the equation that relates total expenses to the number of admissions. So the this is a simple linear regression question and what I want you to do is using the formula that is on page 117, um, answer the questions, the uh, answer the question of what is the equation that relates expenses to admissions. Now, what I don't want you to do is write the actual formula with the B plus X, B, that's not what I'm looking for. I want you to put the actual numbers in. Once you have solved this regression problem, you will have some information as to how much total, how much admissions times a specific number plus total expenses equals Y. So I want you to put the actual numbers in. And once you've worked the assignment, what I'm saying will make more sense. But what I'm saying is I don't want you to put the variable letters in. Don't put in literally the variables that are in the book. Replace the variables with the actual numbers. Now you are going to have a Y and an X still in your equation. Y is going to equal something 
plus something else times x but I want you to fill in those some things with the actual numbers from this particular problem a lot of times students misunderstand and just put in the formula from the textbook I have that already we've all got the formula in the textbook I want you to fill in the numbers that apply to this particular problem okay um, so then part B tells you to predict the total expenses of a hospital with 90,000 admissions so what you're gonna do here is take the formula that you gave me in problem A because remember you had the actual numbers filled in what to multiply times X plus the number of it plus the expenses equals Y you've got those numbers in part A so then I want you to use 90,000 as X in that equation and solve it so that will actually tell me what the total expenses would be if there were 90,000 admissions based on the formula that you're going to give me in part A okay so then on part C it's asking you for some items the SST the SSE SSR and MSE of course you're gonna to have to do the reading to understand what all of those mean they stand for squares total um, coefficient of determinations uh, sum of squares various things you're gonna get off of the regression analysis sheet um, so in order to get to part C you will have to have done the regression analysis plug the numbers given in the data sheet into the regression analysis tool and it's going to Excel's just going to spit this information out for you all you need to do is find it in the results that Excel gives you now if you look at page 123 in your text it gives you some diagrams to show you where to look in the data to find these particular items there's a bubble on page 123 that shows you and points out where the SS R is where the SST is where the MSE is in the data that you're going to get from Excel so if you, all you do is do the regression analysis and then all these questions you're, you're going to answer are based on the regression analysis data um, that's the same thing with D you're just going to find uh, the coefficient of determination which you're going to get out of the data from the regression analysis as well as the significance of F that's part E so on problem two you're gonna do the same thing you've got some regression analysis uh, data that you're going to plug into the regression analysis uh, tool in Excel and then you'll be able to tell me what the equation is that relates sales price to square footage and again you're gonna put in the actual numbers that apply to the problem that you just solved using the regression analysis tool don't put in just the generic formula from the text actually fill in the variables there um, and then in part B using the formula you created in part A you should be able to plug 2000 square feet in as X and determine the estimated sales price using the formula that you created in part A then um, in C through E you're going to again find some information that's in the regression analysis data that Excel has provided for you um, so that's what you're going to do with the assignment now I do want to show you really fast it's in your textbook but I still want to show you how to get to the regression analysis tool just in case um, your Excel whether you have 2010 or 2011 should look very similar to mine and these instructions are also in, on your text on page 122 so when I talk about solving a regression analysis problem what you're going to do is go to the data tab and you've got this data analysis to, uh, tab here because I had you install it the first week so that's why we had you install it earlier so that when we got ready to use it this week it would be there then when that pop-up box comes up from data analysis you just go down to regression click OK your Y input range 
your X input range, and additional information if there is any, um, depending on the problem. And then you click OK to solve it. And so that's how you use the regression analysis tool. Like I said, this is, should be kind of a review because we did go through a practice run in Unit 1. Um, and the instructions are on page 122. And so you're going to use this tool in the data analysis tool pack to solve both of these homework problems for this week. So hopefully this video is helpful to you after you have read the assignment or read the ch chapter and also looked at the PowerPoints you might want to look at this video again that way everything that I'm saying will make sense and tie into what you've already read and you know what you're looking for and so that will take care of the assignment you just got those two problems remember write your actual answers to the questions in the word file and also turn in this Excel spreadsheet with your regression analysis. Once you hit regression analysis, you're going to get additional sheets pop up with the regression data. So go ahead and save that file and turn it in also. Okay. Um, I already mentioned about the discussion. Also, uh, in the next week or so, the mid-quarter survey will be popping up in your class also. So take some time out to complete that your feedback is very important to us and I also wanted to mention to you here in the unit 4 content area there are a couple of examples um, to help you uh, walk through some regression analysis problem the second one is actually a video from YouTube um, so that may help you to see someone walking through a regression analysis problem live um, well visually rather than just following along with the text or in addition to following along with the text. So again I'm available 8 30 to 10 p.m. Monday and Tuesday nights on Pronto and then you can email me at any time and you'll always get a response within 24 hours. So if you have any questions I'd love to hear from you and good luck in week four.